Assassins is a game that seniors at my school play, although it's technically not organized by the school itself. I'm so nervous. I just feel it in my body every time I try to shoot her. Everyone playing is on teams of two, and each week you're assigned another team to shoot with a Nerf gun by Saturday night. If you and your partner shoot both of your targets and don't get shot by the people assigned to assassinate you, you and your partner move on to the next round. To play, each person must pay the Godfathers $15, which goes towards the prize money of the last teams remaining. There are a lot of rules, but I'm going to try to simplify them as best I can before we get into the rest of the video. There's absolutely no shooting on school campuses. You or your car is seen with a Nerf gun or dart on campus at any time, you'll be disciplined by the school. This rule was really nice for me and I because our practices were both at school campuses and that was basically the only time that we were able to get shot. If your partner gets shot, you can still move on to the next round if you successfully get both of your targets out. If you're going after your targets in your targets shoot you, you're considered frozen for 24 hours, which means you can't shoot your targets for 24 hours, but your assassins can still shoot you. You cannot go onto anyone's private property without permission, and basically you can't break any laws in general. Is illegal, so they should be disqualified. No automatic nerf guns, but you can modify your gun, which we thought about doing, but it was too much work. Deadly nerf gun modifications. There are rules about shooting inside restaurants and stores that also kept changing, but for this week, you weren't allowed to. Other safe zones include places of worship, work, but only while clocked in, during times of practices or sports games, and always on Sundays before the next round begins. This game gets crazy, especially with the Twitter accounts leaking information in such limited ways you can shoot your target. Me and I spent way too much time on this game, but I put together the best parts of week one in this video for y'all. It's 7.40, it's Monday night, this is the first Full night. Day. We've survived so far. We have obtained both addresses. <laughs> We're going to Sarah's, she works at Pete's. We're gonna go see if she's at the 8.30 shift right now. And if she's not, then we're just gonna go watch The Bachelor. But if she <laughs> is, we'll see. Sarah wasn't at work and the rest of the night we spent watching The Bachelor and we kind of stopped by their houses, but we weren't really super committed this night. We're dropping me off at her house. There was a car. We drove by it a few times. It's really just an old man. <laughs> Not a high scary. schooler. <laughs> it's the end of Monday night. We didn't get shot, but we also didn't shoot anyone. But a few minutes ago, this girl named Tara texted me. The person who I'm trying to shoot is Brenna and Sarah. And Brenna and Sarah are trying to shoot Tara and Ansley. So they already shot Tara. And so Tara texted me. I was like, hey, I heard that you had Brenna and Sarah as your targets. Like, I can help you get them. Because Tara doesn't want them getting Ansley. Because if they don't get Ansley, Tara and Ansley are back in the round next week. Left for like 20 minutes in class together which normally they don't do then they came back together and shelby had like this red like tape on her arm and i literally saw it right away i thought it was like a wristband because it looked like a wristband and she was like oh and then took it off and then when i found the tracker it was the same red tape they used to tape the tracker and we have a video of it under my car and me taking it off yes. so um, they bought a tracker no i'm pretty sure it was like one it's like one of those tile ones that people use for their keys. Oh, oh my god, they're insane. I hope they get disqualified. If they get disqualified, I don't. I move on to the next round automatically as, as long as they don't get hit, right? Yeah. I bet we can go on the rules and look up like... Well, in the rules, it says that like if you do anything illegal, then you're disqualified. And putting a tracker on yeah. someone's car is illegal, so they should How be disqualified. How the hell did you get a tracker? I don't know how Ansley found it either. It was taped on the bottom in the bottom of her car so if okay. they get disqualified it's literally perfect but if they don't it's going to be really hard out of practice with a lot of twitter notifications and text messages and a lot of stuff so basically sarah got suspended for two rounds which means like two weeks so i originally thought that they were both going to be suspended but because sarah was the one who put the tracker on only sarah got suspended so yeah our top priority now is brenna that night we tried to get brenna but it wasn't very eventful compared compared to the rest of the vlog, so there's just this little clip. Oh. We're sitting outside in, in, of her house, and her boyfriend walks <laughs> out of the house, and like, <laughs> in his stares us second. down. We're like, see the back, <laughs> like, and he waves at the porch, and I wave, <laughs> and you can see like, in her house. Like her mom was watching us they were from just like all, the like stairs. her whole family's just at the window just watching us. <laughs> Let me catch you up. It's Wednesday. Mia tried getting her this morning at her house and her mom saw her. They went through the garage anyway, so it didn't even matter. So we couldn't get them this morning. Do they have a soccer game? Yeah. It's oh. Like, 
a public field. Oh. So it's not technically out of school. And Ansley's oh been God. asking Sophie Golanova about it. And so basically they just can't get shot during the game. But as soon as you walk into the parking lot, it's a free for all. There's oh no my security. gosh. Okay, perfect. We have no idea where we're going or what's happening. Okay, so basically Tara and Ansley, she texted us saying, do you want to go hunt right now? We have a it's plan. 940. So we're going to meet her in the band parking lot. She said to bring the blonde wigs. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> once so again, I have no idea what she's don't playing. know what we're getting into here. So we have three plans now. This is plan A. Our plan B is to wake up tomorrow at 6.30 and go to Brenna's house and try to get her there. And then our plan C is at the soccer game tomorrow night. Tonight would be ideal. All right, we're almost there. We'll talk to you later. All right, so we get in the back of Tara's car with Ansley. They had already shot Jace and just had to get Connor, so we drove to Connor's house. Our plan was for Tara, who was already out, to get in the blonde wig and pretend to be Ansley so that Brenna would come and try to shoot her. But before she did, me and I would just shoot Brenna first. Once we were there, we sent a tip to Twitter leaking Tara and Ansley's location and I posted on my Instagram story an attempt to make everyone think that we were at home so that Brenna would feel comfortable to come shoot Ansley who's really just Tara in a way. As we were hiding outside Connor's house waiting for Brenna I get a text informing us that Connor and Jace are our assassins. Realizing that we're just casually sitting in front of our assassin's house we get back in Tara's car. As we're about to leave Jace comes and blocks us in and we see this girl Brady in her car with what we think is Brenna and Sarah. At this point, Mia and I are hiding in a box in the back seat of Tara's car so that no one sees us, and we follow Brady's car for what seems like literally forever to Brady's house. There, we sit and wait outside of Brady's house for another very long time because we think Brenna is in the trunk, and so we're like, okay, she has to come out at some point, or Brady has to take her home at some point. We finally give up at around midnight, and if Brenna was in that car, props to her because she was very dedicated, but now at this point, we know who has us and we're moving on to plan b it is um 6 28 and i am running on low amounts of sleep but whatever okay i don't know how to feel because i'm going to run his house this morning to go get her but i know that the chances of me actually getting her at her house are so low so it's really hard for me to be up right now and i know that i probably won't get like I, this is I'm pretty positive. This is a waste of my time. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. <laughs> we sat outside of her house. I got there at 6.45. Then around like 7.15, she opened her garage and then she closed it again, went back inside. So I was like, okay, I'll just wait longer. Like maybe she didn't see us and she's gonna actually use her car. So then I tell Ella to go down and pick up my car just in case like she went back inside and like called Connor or something And so then Ella drives my car up and as she drives my car up the garage door opens again And Brenna comes out in her mom's red car and like drives past Ella who's driving my car Up the court while I'm hiding in bushes and we didn't get her so okay, well, soccer Yes so it is currently, what day is it? It's Thursday. I keep yeah. forgetting what day it is. Hopefully the last day we are hunting because tonight be. we are going complete disguise. And we're driving 45 minutes away. We're driving away. 45 minutes away. No one knows we're going. I don't even think people even know that it's possible to shoot where she is going. My hair is pinned up. So me and I put on the blonde wigs and set out for our final plan to shoot our targets. Brenna is on the soccer team and they had an away game that night. Now, all school campuses are safe zones, but their game that night happened to not be on a school campus. Okay, we're here with our disguises. We're going to see how much time in the game is left. I'm pretty sure they're still on the first half. Which is good. We drove around the parking lot. We couldn't necessarily find her car, so that might be a problem. I put my hair in a bun, put some glasses on. Hopefully it doesn't look too fake. Mia has Michigan State hat. The school they're going against is a private Catholic girls' school. They're like, Boys. The boy private Catholic the private Catholic boys school is the Spartans. So we're just really blending in here um, with our blonde <laughs> swigs. There's like 15 minutes left in the game. We've been here for about 30 minutes. We're getting nervous. I'm so nervous. Right, we can do this. We got this. Uh -huh. We have two spots planned out. Like do okay, please let me know. Do I look recognizable? Like I really want to know. Like Wait. you saw me on the street right now and you were my friend and you already knew what I would look like. Like <laughs> Do I look real? Like, okay, I. 
I know this isn't the most natural blonde, but like, I don't look like I'm like trying that hard to fit in, right? Yes, let's do this. Okay, we're currently <laughs> gonna go to our spots. We get into our positions, me at one exit and me at the other, trying to act as casual as possible. She ends up walking out by Mia and Mia gets her. <laughs> I didn't know that Mia already got her, so I also run and get her again, and she was not happy. There was some confusion about the grace period after the game, but she DM'd me later clearing it up. You can, you can count me as killed. <gasps> oh my god! Yay! That's so nice. <laughs> Yay! Oh, we haven't got her. <gasps> oh my god, we're moving we're on to the on. next round! We have to do this for another week! <laughs> We didn't get shot, so yes, we moved on to week two. There's too much footage to continue, but like this video if you want to see us go through the other weeks of this game, where it continues to get more intense as more teams get eliminated. Until then, thanks for watching, and see you in my next video. And she was talking to people today, calling us idiots because we went outside this morning. Should I, should I, I need to be something nice back? I feel bad. So, because I don't want to be on bad terms with her. <laughs> yeah. These wigs are like nice wigs. They have like the net or whatever. I don't know. My sister is like really into that stuff. So. I mean, no one knows about this restaurant, so we better I know, not it's get very random. But we are parked really far away. I'll get a gun. Oh, but I want to prove her wrong. I want to prove that I can actually like get her, but can I? Like, I don't know if I'm capable of this.